So I'm at Muzzle Mike's, and what was our plans for today? We were going to go to the so, Amish. We're going to go to the Amish part of the yep. state. We're going out down to uh, Fall Amp, Pennsylvania. And we're going to steal a horse, bring it back, hide it in your garage, and then we're going to have to explain to Michelle why a horse is in the garage, right? Yes, and don't, don't forget you'll have you hit clean up the mess. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. We're at Donna's Diner. Also used to be known as the Silver Diner, so kind of nostalgia diner from the 60s. Go ahead, you can. <laughs> all right, so the iced tea is going to take a minute. You just have to switch it. No problem at all. No problem. This is really cool. Just to show you a little bit of the inside, it is a converted dining car, an actual converted. The reason why the diners were named diners is they were dining cars from the railroads taken out of service. Now, although I don't believe there's any chance being this far east that this is part of Route 66, it sure gives you a flavor and gives you a mind of it. There's the view all the way down to the dining car. I think about the only thing, I mean the setups and the tables. I mean your old uh, Formica tables with the chrome trim. The chairs, everything. I mean they've really got it done up. I would say the only thing different is uh, the jukeboxes are missing. They used to have uh, some of the old diners had the table jukeboxes, but that's about the only thing different. They, this have, live, they have live music on, on Fridays. Where do the live people perform? I don't know. I think they cleaned up. Oh, towards the back there? Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to take a look at a little bit more of it. Oh, they got the jukebox here. Here we go. The old Wurlitzer jukebox. How about that? Can't get more classic than that in old Wurlitzer. <laughs> and we got some old pictures. And then the old signs. Excuse me, please, I'm just taking a picture of the signs. <laughs> no worries, though, no, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Here's a view of the river out back. So here's the tour of the entire diner. So this is the high water mark. It would be right up to my nose. I would not, standing here, be able to breathe where the water was. Mike would be, it would be up to his shoulder, so he'd still be able to breathe. I'd be dead. <laughs> <coughs> and right across the ways, you can see from here, Yeah. that's Quaker Steak and Loop. Oh, okay. I'll drive you by and down to the parking lot before we head up over the hill. Okay. You can see the Quackers down below. What us. building is this here? Oh. Well, it's the Goldbergs building now. Oh. Insurance. They actually own it. That was actually the newspaper building at one point in time. That does look like an old newspaper building. But they moved it up, up the road further. Yep, that does look like an old newspaper building. Check this out, Bob. Functioning bicycle. Look at that. I know. What craftsmanship. I wonder how the person... How'd they even make the wheels? My gosh. I have a friend. Oh, okay. Hard works. It was missing its home. Oh.
Okay. We have the 55. It shouldn't do much on the on the freeways now. You're so tired. Oh, yeah. This is a special birthday because he's turning 50, and 50 is always a special <laughs> milestone in your life <laughs> when you so reach soon. that certain golden age. He's Not so soon. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. If you don't, we'll beat you up. <laughs> like a rhinestone cowboy. <laughs> I was going to get you the cowboy hat today, but I didn't have a mirror. I was going to have you try it on. You know, we were at the cowboy store. That would have gone with the <laughs> shirt, but unfortunately there wasn't a mirror available. So. And this thing is all buttoned up. I was looking at that. The button on top, so I'm going to roll them up and button. 